Hello, today we're going to be over how to add a call to action bar going across the top of your WordPress website. Uh, this is another tutorial provided by Compete Now, WordPress and eMarketing tutorials to give you the keys for your web presence for you in the fastest success. Plenty more on our website, stockcompete.com slash tutorials. You can subscribe to the channel or just sign up for a weekly uh, notification about a new tutorial that was added. That will get started. Uh, so this is going to add a bar going all the way across the top. That is, um, you know, you can put some call to action text like you know get our service right now click here to learn more uh, and as we go through or you can even there's a table of contents you can even skip skip further ahead to see exactly what it'll look like but um, it's a very efficient way to have a call to action on all your pages it's still subtle enough but it's there to get their attention so if you have a special deal or offer it's right in their face and they can click to click to view it so first thing we're going to do is install the plugin that we need to do this Go to your dashboard and go to plugins. Add new. We're gonna add the. Um, it's called the Hello Bar. So the Hello Bar. All right. Now you're gonna download this one, the Hello Bar by Digital Telepathy. Install. Activate. All right. Now that you've installed and activated the plugin, you do have to create an account on um, the Hello Bar's website. That's hellobar.com. I also have the uh, the link in the bottom. You're gonna have to create an account. They're gonna email you a password. Uh, you put that password in. You can reset it to something you can actually remember, and then you get to create your bar. And once you do, it'll go here and it will say you're, you're gonna have to hit create new. I've already created one for web design evaluation, so I'm gonna click on that. I'll just go through the settings real quick. Here are the settings. Uh, message I put in, you know, could your website use an update? Get a pre free evaluation, find out. Te link text is click here to learn more. And then it just goes to my, right now, Just I mean, I would have it go to an actual page that about a free evaluation, but I just have this one going to my, my regular website now. So you see, this is what it looks like. You can change the colors around a little bit if you wanted to. So you can change the fonts. So maybe I'll change that to this. That we'll use a find out. I could use one of these default themes. Um, it is good to have a little bit of a contrast at the top. Maybe this is a little too much. Um, you could click custom bar colors. Let's do. I'll just keep it black for now. Okay, and then you hit save. Once you hit save, it will save. Um, I think when you first create the form, it'll automatically come up with the embed code. If not, you'll have to go get it. Uh, so I'm going to go back to manage. And I'll hit embed. And then it'll give you this code. And copy this code. All right, code's copied. So you see, place this code anywhere in your body tag. Just ignore that. That's why we installed the plugin to make this whole process simpler. You don't have to edit any template files or theme files or anything like that. Go back to your WordPress website. Go to the left. Click on Hello Bar in the, bo in the very bottom menu. Alright, now you're just going to paste it in here gives you the option for header or footer. I don't think it really makes sense to put it in the footer, but if you want to, you can. But I, I would recommend saying in the header. Save changes. Now, because of the, the WordPress admin bar that goes across the top, it's going to block our uh, hello bar. So I'm just going to have my other browser in here to show you what it looks like. All right, see that's been added to the top. Could your website use an update? Click here to learn more and it's a button. Uh, and as they go from page to page, that's going to stay there. Okay. Sure, I'll learn more. I click on that, it brings me to my website. Now, there is a way, if you want, you want to have either different hello bars that say different text from page to page or a couple different pages, you can do that. Just take it out of this plugin here, cut that out, hit save. And then you go to the page that you want it on. So.
so I'm going to put it on my um, about page only. Okay, just put it there. And now make sure you paste that into your HTML view. Um, if you do it into the visual, it won't work. And also, once you've pasted this text in, if you switch to visual then HTML, this code's probably going to get messed up, unfortunately. So you always want to copy this code, make your edits in visual if you need to, and then switch back and then add the code back in. Hit update. Let's wait for that. So that's updated. We we'll go back to this site. So you notice that the bar is no longer up here. But if I go to the About Us page, there it is. Okay. People do have the option if they want. They can close it and bring it back down. All right. You notice that there is the uh, looks like a Hello Bar um, ad kind of thing. Uh, doesn't bother me that much. Um, but if you do want to get rid of that, they do have like a paid account that you can use and that will take that stuff away. And it'll also give you some other neat little features, um, but you can read more about that on the Hello Bar website. So this is another tutorial provided by Compete Now. WordPress and eMarketing tutorials to give you the keys to our presence, putting you in the fastest success. Plenty more on our website at startcompeting.com tutorials.